Hi, in this video I'm going to show you a new feature to Family Browser 2012, um, what we've called Collections. Now if you're a single user um, of um, Revit and Family Browser this won't be of much use to you at all, but for those of you who are site users or are wanting to share your, um, your Family Browser text files this certainly will be. Now in Family Browser version 3 for 2011 we had a thing called a master text file which we could export and then load in and in that version we could only load in one master file. So the 2012 version lets us load in as many as we like and we've called those master files collections. So up until now in my demonstrations we've been creating groups and tabs and they have been they have been created in your user's directory. So if I open up Windows Explorer, go to Documents, there is a folder here called Family Browser 2012 and there's two text files in there. The Family Browser Master Text which points to different collections and there will always be Kiwi Codes Local which at this stage is where all these groups and tabs have been stored. If I double click on it that's the definition there where it's going to look for those text files. So to share these, the first thing we do um, is we create all our tabs and groups and everything we want and then we go to BIM management and we go create collection from local groups. And I'm going to put this on a shared directory so other people can load them in. And I'm going to call it collections test. And save that and it's created that. So basically it's exported that text file, your local text file, out to a shared location and given it a name. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to group options and remove the current group and I'll remove this group as well. So what that has done, if I go back to my text file here, um, documents Family Browser 2012 and open up my local. It's not pointing to anything. I've deleted those groups out of there. Okay, I'm going to right mouse click on our empty Family Browser and I'm going to load collection. Just the same as what we used to do um, in the previous version, loading a loading the master text file. I'm going to load in the collections and there they go. So now I've got documents and design. Exactly the same as before, it looks exactly the same to the end user but if I go back to my local it's still blank. Okay, But if I open up the master here it is pointing to the blank local and it is pointing to the shared collection. Now we can have as many collections as we want now loaded in so in a large company you might have a collection for interior designers, for structural, for um, architectural. So you might have three or four collections and the end user can choose which collection they want and that will only load in the tools and tabs that they need. They, the interiors might need to see structural steel sections and all that sort of stuff. So it just adds a little bit more flexibility. It also allows end users to create tabs and groups themselves and they will then come into this local text file that only they will see. So when they move around computers or log into different computers, they will still see their tabs there but no one else will. They'll be their own. So it's just a new feature that the end user won't know much difference but certainly a BIM manager can set it up and have a lot more flexibility and as you'll see in my deployment video, it certainly helps with that as well. So that's the new feature in 2012 Collections, which is basically multiple master text files imported in.